let us now take the model 4 of this topic where we shall discuss questions related to conditions on digits like in model 3 we have seen various conditions that can be asked with respect to letters of a word here we see what are the different types of conditions that can be asked when digits have to be arranged and numbers have to be formed let's look at the first example how many five digit numbers can be formed with the digits 2 4 5 8 and 9 when the first bit here says repetition is not allowed and second bit says repetition is allowed so here in this example we are going to see what is the difference in these two cases the first case here is when the repetition of these digits is not allowed in the number and the second bit here is when the repetition of the digits is allowed now let's see how to solve the questions here now the first bit here is quite similar to what we have done in example number one that is how to form a four digit number from the given digits in general when nothing is specified in the question we should take it for granted that the repetition is not allowed so here we have got five digits and we need to form five digit numbers one two three four and five digit numbers so five digits and five positions can be done in five factorial ways why because this is nothing but 5p5 5p5 is five factorial so we say that the answer here is 120 otherwise even if you go for uh, the multiplication principle we find that first position can be filled in five ways 2, 4, 5, 8 or 9. Any of those 5 digits can come. Second position can be filled only in 4 ways. Third can be filled only in 3 ways. Fourth can be filled in 2 ways. And the fifth one can be filled only in 1 way. Whatever digit is left out, that has to come in the fifth position. So altogether, going by the principle of multiplication, it is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is again 5 factorial. So when repetition of the digits is not allowed, we take it as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Why? Because once a particular digit has come in the first position, it cannot come again. That is the reason we have only 4 choices. Likewise, again, when, once a digit comes here, it cannot come in the remaining positions. So we have only 3 choices for the third position and so on. So that gives us the answer as 5 factorial. And in general, as I've mentioned, when nothing is given regarding repetition, we should assume that repetition is not allowed. Now a special case here is when repetition is allowed. That means how many 5 digit numbers can be formed with the digits 2, 4, 5, 8 and 9 when repetition of the digits is allowed. That means a particular digit can come any number of times in the given number. So let's see how to solve questions when the repetition of digits is allowed. Here again since we are forming 5 digit numbers we have got 5 positions 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now if we try to go by the principle of multiplication, we know that the first position here can be filled in 5 ways. Either 2 can come or 4 or 5 or 8 or 9 can come. So there are 5 ways to fill the first position. That's like similar to what we have done in the first bit. Repetition is not allowed. There also first position can be filled in 5 ways. Here also the first position can be filled in 5 ways because we have 5 choices. Now coming to the second position here, the second position can again be filled in 5 ways. Why? Because repetition is allowed. So whatever digit comes here, the same digit can come again. In the previous case, we have seen that the second position can be filled in only 4 ways. Why? Because once a particular digit comes here, let's say the digit 4 has occupied the first position. Then 4 cannot come in the remaining positions. So that is the reason we say that second position can be filled in only 4 ways. That is either 2 or 5 or 8 or 9 and so on. So once a digit occupies a particular position, it cannot come again. So that is the reason the number of choices keep decreasing here. But in this case, since the repetition is allowed, whatever digit comes here, the same digit can come again. Let's say here 4 has occupied the first position. Again, 4 can come in the second position. Likewise, it can come in the third, fourth and fifth position. Why? Because repetition is allowed. So we can say that second position can be filled in 5 ways. Again, the third position also can be filled in 5 ways. Why? Because a digit can come any number of times. So there is nothing like a particular digit is ruled out once it has occupied a particular position. Likewise, fifth, fourth position can be filled in 5 ways and the fifth position as well can be filled in 5 ways. Now going by principle of multiplication, it is 5 into 5 into 5 into 5, which is nothing but 5 power 5. So when repetition is not allowed, the answer should be 5 factorial. And when repetition is allowed, the answer here will be 5 to the power of 5. Let's take an example and understand what can happen in this case and what cannot happen there. For example, here we can have a number called 44,444. 4 is there in the given digits. So we can form a number only using 4s. Likewise, we can have a number 55,555 or 88,888. Similarly, 99,999 or 22,222. It is not compulsory that all the 5 digits have to be repeated. Only 4 may repeat. For example, the number can be 2224 or it can be 22522 or 229 
two two. Likewise, only uh, three of them may repeat. We can have a number like nine nine two nine four. So here we find that a particular digit has appeared thrice. Remaining digits have come only once. So these are the numbers which can come in this case. These are all okay when repetition is allowed. But these things are not applicable when it comes to repetition is not allowed. Why? Because their digits should not repeat. So here we can have only unique numbers. We can have a number called two four five. 89 in this case this is okay similarly we can have a number like 25489 that means digits all remain same they appear only once but they can shuffle their positions internally they can be changed likewise we can have a number starting with 58942 and so on so we get 120 such numbers and here we get 545 numbers where repetition is allowed let's now take the second example from model 4 where again we are going to solve a question related to arrangement of digits so that different numbers can be formed but here one of the digits is zero so hence it becomes a special case and we need to be careful while solving such questions let's look at the question first how many four digit numbers can be formed with the digits 0 1 3 and 6 so as you can see here we have got four digits 0 1 3 and 6 and we need to form four digit numbers in general when there are four digits and four digit numbers have to be formed we say that the answer is four factorial so if we take the answer as four factorial we are trying to say that the first position can be filled in four ways that means either zero can come or one or three or six can come in the first position the point here is if first position can be filled in four ways there may be some numbers where the first position is occupied by zero and once the first position here is occupied by zero the number becomes a three digit number why because this is thousands place if this is zero the number is not a four digit number it becomes a three digit number hence it is very clear that first position cannot be occupied by zero so let us see how to solve this question where one of the digits is zero we very well understand that the first position here or the thousands place cannot be occupied by zero. Why? Because we are trying to form a four digit number. Hence zero cannot come in this place. But one or three or six can come. That means we have three choices for the first position. It can be one or three or six. So we can say the first position here can be filled in three ways. Let's say six has occupied the first place. Now moving on to the second position, we again have three choices. We should not take it as two choices. Why? Because 0 cannot come in first position, but 0 can come in the remaining 3 positions. So we can say that the second position again can be filled in 3 ways. It can either be 0 or 1 or 3. That means any of the remaining 3 number, digits. So second position can also be filled in 3 ways. Let's say 1 has occupied the second position. Now moving on to the third position, we have got 2 choices. It can either be 0 or 3. So this can be filled in 2 ways. Assuming that 0 comes in this position, the last position can be filled in one way. Why? Because there is only one digit left out, 3, and it has to come there. So we don't have any choice. Last position can be filled only in one way. So the answer here will be 3 into 3 into 2 into 1, going by the principle of multiplication. 3 into 3 is 9. 9 into 2 is 18. So 18 is the number of four digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 0, 1, 3, and 6. Let's now look at the third example from module 4 which is again based on a special condition on the given digits. The question here is how many four digit numbers can be formed using the digits 5, 6, 8 and 9 such that you have got two different conditions here. The first one says the number is greater than 8000 and the second condition is the number is less than 6000. So look, taking the first condition here, the question is how many four digit numbers can be formed using these digits 5, 6, 8 and 9 such that the number formed is greater than 8000. So whatever numbers we form here, we should make sure that it is greater than 8000. Now since we are going for a four digit number, we say that there are four digits, four positions. Now we want the number to be greater than 8000. See whether a number is greater than 8000 or not is only based on its thousands place here. So here we say that the thousands place is the first position. So if we want the number to be greater than 8000, this position cannot be occupied by 5 or 6. Why? Because once thousand place is occupied by 5, whatever be the remaining 3 digits, number will become less than 8000. Similarly, if this position is occupied by 6, whatever be the remaining digits, it is a number which is less than 8000. So it cannot be occupied by 5 or 6. But 8 and 9 both can come in the first position. If it is Starting with 8, the remaining digits here are given in such a way that the number becomes greater than 8000. And even when the number starts with 9, whatever be the remaining digits, it is greater than 8000. So we can say that the first position can be occupied in two ways. It can either be 8 or it can be 9. 
Now once the first position is filled, we have got three more positions and remaining three digits. That can be done in three factorial ways. Why? Because condition is only with respect to thousands place. Remaining digits can be any of the given digits there. So we can say that the answer here is 2 into 3 factorial. Why? Because remaining 3 positions can be filled in 3 factorial ways. So 2 into 3 factorial is nothing but 2 into 6 which is equal to 12. So 12 numbers can be formed using the digits 5, 6, 8 and 9 where the number is greater than 8000. Let us now look at the next condition there. The number should be less than 6000. So this is like a similar condition but the only point here is number has to be less than 6000. Now again since we are forming 4 digit numbers we have got 4 positions. Now if we want the number to be less than 6000, very clearly the given digits are 5, 6, 8 and 9. So if we want the number to be less than 6000, first position here cannot be occupied by 6. Why? Because once the thousands place is 6, number becomes 6000 or more than 6000. We want it to be less than 6000. So it cannot be occupied by 6. And it cannot be occupied by 8 or 9. Why? Because when this is 8, when thousands place is 8 or it is 9, whatever would be the remaining 3 digits, number is greater than 6000. We want it to be less than 6000. So here 6 cannot come, 8 cannot come and 9 cannot come. But 5 can come and that's the only choice we have. So the first position can be filled only in one way. That is the digit 5 has to come there. Now the left out digits, 3 digits and 3 positions can be filled in 3 factorial ways. So we can say the final answer here is 1 into 3 factorial. That is nothing but 1 into 6 which is equal to 6. So 6 numbers can be formed where the number is less than 6000 and 12 numbers can be formed where the number is greater than 8000.